Hey guys, it's Deacon here with Sisu Strong and Brent Ams Amsbury, right? Amsbury. Amsbury, all right. And uh, we're at Park City Ski Boot, and we are going to get some boots. I'm going to let Brent kind of fill you in his history real quick. There's a lot of it, and it's impressive. Well, my name is Brent Amesbury. Um, I own Park City Ski Boot. I started here in 2006 and actually had a shop before that called World Cup Skier Service in the Seattle Bellevue area. Uh, started in 1988. Uh, I've been working with high performance skiers uh, ever since college and I've uh, been working for multiple national teams uh, as a ski technician and a boot fitter. And I became a certified pit orthist in 2004, which is a licensed position to do modifications of footwear uh, for prescription and uh, for general public. So uh, that's uh, me in a nutshell and got Deacon here today and we want to get him dialed in some badass boots. Right on. So, I mean the first thing we want to do is, is just get that basic length measurement. But this is not what guides us to the right boot completely. So Right away, I'm seeing a 27.5, a Mondo Point, that's a, a, a size 9 boot. Let's take a look at that left one. People always laugh at my small feet. I blame yeah. the fact that I was trying to be a professional fighter and broke my feet a lot and then stuffed them in ski boots. <laughs> so, pretty much the same length, 27.5, that's a 9. But now we're going to do some volume measurement, find out what the size is at the ankle. And that's where a ski boot has to fit number one, is around that ankle, all right? So around that ankle, I got a perimeter also of 27.5. So, so far, our first two numbers are equal, which is a really good sign. We're going to have to take a seat, and we're going to grab that right foot, and we're going to look around the midsection. That number is a 25 to 25.5. That means we've got a fairly narrow midsection, which means that the foot is not what we'll call the high volume foot, which means it doesn't fill up the space in the boot um, very quickly. So a little bit bigger actually on this left side. This left side's just a little bit higher volume. Yeah. So this left foot says it's different than the right foot in terms of its its overall volume in the midsection. Now we're doing a little width. Could that play any factor into like breaking metatarsals a lot? Absolutely. Uh, if, if your foot's been broken. Um, My right foot's probably been broken like eight, eight times. times. Then it's gone through something called atrophy, which means it, it broke and then it kind of shrunk because it was trying to heal and then it kind of grew back and, okay. and on the eighth time it kind of settled into its final state. But a broken foot can sometimes be bigger, but sometimes can also be smaller. So. The width-wise, we're coming out about 100, 110 across the forefoot, and about 110-ish on the left as well. So we've got a, a wider forefoot, a narrower midfoot, and then a pretty normal ankle. And that's not unusual, right, for for skiers um, to have that type of to have that type of shape. I mean, we see all different shapes. I mean, really big ankles, really tiny ankles, but. So far, the numbers look pretty good here. So we're going to start off with a couple boots. Um, you're a good skier, super strong skier. I'm a big skier. Big skier. <laughs> so you're going to be skiing like mainly what? You're going to be hucking yourself off, you know, it's big cool. lines. Or are you going to stay on the groom? Are you going to go super For fast? Or nice? It'll be like backcountry or fast. Okay. Which All right. are totally. <laughs> Not the greatest combo. Okay, all right. So we're going to start off with a with a narrower fitting um, top of line one thirty flex boots. So one thirty is kind of like that standard aggressive skier flex. Yeah, they make them a little stiffer, one forty one fifty, but those are the World Cup flexes, and they also make them a little bit softer. Um, but for your stature, a one twenty one ten is just not going to cut it. Maybe for my size, but definitely not for you. Okay. So. New socks for try on. So I had to get socks. Another just little thing. Everybody thinks that big puffy socks are going to keep your feet warm. It's going to actually make your foot sweat and make it wet and cold. So the thinner the sock, the tighter the fit, the better it goes. All right, there's one. And they just make me look fast. Yeah, and they look cool. 
Do you do the do like do the training as far as like teaching people to boot fit and things like that? So I do both. Like that? I, I I work with a company called Boot Doc, and I, I'm kind of like their technical advisor, and I do all their lectures and I do their boot fitting clinics. So other retailers come to our clinics and they bring their staff and I teach them the essentials of boot fitting. Because that's something you're going to find with a lot of the people that we bring on to these, these video casts and video blogs is, and you can see it with Travis and, and um, Tron and some other people. They are all people that have gotten to a level that they're helping other people learn to be more proficient and efficient at what they're doing, whether it's skiing or snowboarding or whatever. We love to work with the trainers because they're going to understand how to break it down even more. So when I'm going to look for a product or whatever, I want to find guys like Brent they're going to be able to dumb it down if I need it to, or geek it out as much as I need it to. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we want to we'll do a shell size, and that is we take a liner out, and we're just going to take the foot, put it right inside the shell, and we'll have Deacon to slide his foot forward until the toe's just touching the end. And I'm going to look around and just take a quick look, see how much room I got behind the heel. I'm reaching back in there. We've got a little over a finger, uh, which is a pretty good start. Now, Deacon, you're going to slide your heel all the way back. Actually, back in there, buddy, and all the way back. And I'm going to just look around inside because I want to see what that plastic is doing, um, how it's uh, situated up against the foot. I'm looking for critical areas around the ankle. I'm going to strong arm the boot inside, take a quick peek inside, see if he's touching the walls. And so far, I'm pretty happy with this. So, Go ahead and slide that, that foot out. So a good boot, uh, a properly sized boot, when you put it on, is going to be pretty snug in the toes at first. And that's because the back part of the shell is pitched forward. And as soon as you climb in, that pitch is going to shove your foot to the front of the boot, and your toes are going to hit the end of the boot. This is normal. Definitely uh, does not indicate the boot's too tight until I buckle it and get Deacon to flex in the boot, get the heel back into the pocket, and then we'll know whether it's too small or too big. Liner goes back in. Now our first boot, we're going to try it on. Toe goes in. And then he goes. Deacon is going to be like, yeah, my toes are on the end of the boot. Are they? They are. They oh. are. Okay. A good boot fit is going to freak out a claustrophobic person. <laughs> so we're going to do the top buckles. I'm going to ask Deacon flex. And you see that buckle just kind of dropped in by itself. That was a good sign. So we're on our way. No red lights yet. Upsize these match the company colors. So, yeah, so we'll just do a little buckle slugging until I feel good resistance there. And we're just going to have these keep flexing it, uh, feeling it, and uh, you know, going to see what you think. What's your first impression? And this is probably the toughest part for people, right? Is to give that feedback. What's going on? So, toes, toe box is good. For me, I feel pressure where my foot was wider in the pad of the foot on each side. That's where I'm feeling stuff. So basically here and here where you have all the wide part of the ball of your foot. Yep. I'm um, feeling some there yeah. and there. behind the heel. Deacon's got his toes up front. Boom, boom. We're going to have inside the heel back. We're going to do the same thing. Take a good peek around inside. So we see it's pretty close. It's going to be very similar to the leg. This is the Technica. We're going to slide the foot out and we're going to see what Deacon thinks of this baby. What would you say is, so for me when I worked in the shop and was fitting mostly recreational skiers and everything eight years ago. What's the biggest change in boots that you've seen? Has there been much or? I think the biggest change in boots is that they've made them a lot more anatomical. Um, in terms of the, the shape, they don't look as big and bulky. You notice how slim they look now. And the other thing is the liner quality. 
The liners have really changed. They have great technology in the liners. A lot of these have heat moldable materials, um, different densities of materials. I mean, back in the day, it was just one type of foam. It kind of looked like an ugly sock. Um, you know, you shove your foot in there and you hope that it fit. So I think that uh, CAD CAM technology has come a long way. And the old way of making a boot is they literally drew it up by hand, um, just like old architecture. And then they have to make a pro so, so a prototype. Now they do everything on a computer. They can make the liner, they can make the shell, they can forecast the flex, they can forecast the volume all up on a computer. So it just really aids the definition anatomically. So what do you think of the technical? Well, now we're running into the problem that all legit boot fitters hate to hear because I love the colors on this one and I want to look at, most people pick their boots based off of what they think they look like, especially when you go into a recreational ski shop. The technical though definitely feels better overall fit. I don't have as many hot spots and still has tight, everything feels good, but it's, it feels like a more natural Okay. Yeah. A little more of a, a natural, cloak, you know, kind yeah. of more you, right? How the ankle feels pretty snug. Yeah, so I'm laying a little bit of a hot spot right inside the, above the ankle there. Technically so far, it's just spot on. Okay. Usually what we look for is the boot that's got that nice, snug, firm handshake kind of fit with the least amount of hot spots. Right? And that's probably the best place to start. And, you know, Brent will attest to this. If you're remotely interested in skiing and like even taking it up and you're thinking, I'm going to go twice a year, buy a pair of boots. They'll last you, you know, a good pair of boots can, can last you five years if you're skiing a couple times a year. But, going in and one you want to share with somebody when you're renting boots but you can demo skis you can go and get good great skis to demo getting a good rental boot is not the normal they're going to give you something that's usually two sizes too big it's going to make your feet hurt they're going to get cold find a guy like brent come to park city hang out with us for a day get some boots i'll come and get boot fitted um but Invest in boots if you're remotely interested in taking up taking up skiing or you go a couple times a year. Yeah, we like to say as boot fitters, uh, you can date your skis, but you got to marry your boots. <laughs> All right, let's pull the, the thing off. I'm gonna pop some tags. Only got twenty dollars in my pocket. I, I'm a hunt, looking for a come up. This is something awesome. Into the club, black what up? It's me. So now we are going to check Deacon's foot again back in the shell. We're going to look around for those contact points. And once we're done with this, we're going to move on to making a custom foot bed, making a custom support uh, in around the foot so we have a good level support. Uh, for Bone looks money, really good. No issues there. So it's you actually making a little contact here, and making contact below that bone as well. So those are the areas that we're going to have to heat up and shape and change. Okay, up and out. So and that's also why you want to get that tight boot fit. You want to get the best fit out of the box to make the least amount of adjustments that you have to. But what Eric was saying is that he actually will be heating the boot up on those hot spots that I was complaining about and actually stretching the boot a little bit in those spots. So 
this is essentially sand in a vacuum. And it's kind of like a sand cast. And I'm have you slide about two inches forward. I'm going to take that left foot. We're just going to put it right inside. Take the right foot, put it right on top of that sand. And just relax. I'm going to drop that left foot right into the material. And I'm just holding the foot in neutral, right? Keeping that knee right over that second toe. And I'm keeping that forefoot flat. And I'm going to start pulling the hair out of that. it up and what I'm doing here is making some room for the toes when I put that blank in there. Alright. Now we'll go to the lefty and the lefty the righty. The righty is the tough one. This is the one that's seen its fair share of abuse. So I'm gonna hold it into neutral there. like that Brent's talking about neutral positioning when you come in and do assessments with us a lot of things we look at are your movement issues is it a mobility issue or a structure issue? what is it that's actually causing that problem there is it something that needs a type of orthotic like this to help address it is it an old ankle injury that doesn't work well or is it just a mobility and I don't know how to do that movement type thing. So, all right, you can have you stand up and bend your knees a little bit. And yep, I can see those knees roll in just a little bit. Tell me how the arches feel. Very even. Yeah. Pretty close. Yeah, it feels pretty even. Okay. And then feels about even all the way around. Yeah. Have you take a seat? and take your feet out and we can see the impression of your feet right there. And so you can probably really feel how I was trying to correct mm -hmm. that right foot because it falls in from those previous injuries. Give it a little more support. And just run around and smooth all this goodness out from the toes. Make the cast. Um, more friendly. Alright guys, so we're going to kind of give you an idea of how he's going to stretch the boots in the spots that were an issue. And these are some of the tools that we're using to get that done. Yeah, we've got a whole array of other boots we're working on right now, heating them up, changing the shapes. And uh, we essentially just take a, you know, a pretty standard direction, a manufacturer's type heat gun, and we heat them up, break, and we go through and make sure everything is really, really warm on the boot. Work that area, got a little spot here for Deacon, we'll get that warmed up, and then we're going to take it in, put it into an actual press, um, where we go right in and get to that spot, do a little, little wrenching on there, then we bring that right down, and we adjust that in and get that right to where we want it. And we don't have to make a lot of space, just enough, just to give a little relief, and bingo, we've got it right there. We're going to let that cool for about 20-25 minutes, and and once it's done, it's permanently in that plastic. And I won't have to cry. <laughs> cool. All right, guys, we finished up with our session one. We're going to be coming back in a few weeks to see what the boots feel like after we've done all the adjustments, after Brent gets back from telling people how to wear their ski boots better. Yep. Um, and we will be back in here. I'm sure you'll see us in here a lot this winter talking to Brent. I still don't know what to do with my hands. Um, <laughs> but uh, Brent, thank you very much. No problem. It was awesome. Looking forward to round two. You know, like I said, the most exciting thing about this is just getting to talk to somebody that has an awesome background in it. And selfishly, I get to learn a lot as well. And we will be back soon to bring you guys more information.
Be sure to check out Park City Ski Boot for all your information. Is it just parkcityskiboot.com? Parkcityskiboot.com. Dot com. Get on there. Come to Park City and see Brent. And hit us up on info at CSU Strong if you have any questions for next time. And I'll bring them in to Brent. And we'll talk, cover a few topics if you guys have some questions about anything. Have a great night. Mm -hmm. Thank you.